have such a pretty face. If you just lost 30 pounds, you'd be gorgeous. I'm already gorgeous. You've got such a pretty face. It's a shame about your weight. You know, you've got such great style. It's a shame about your personality. Joy, you have such a pretty face. And this incredible body, I know. Trust me, it's not easy going through life being this foxy. You know what sucks? Staircase wit. When you think of the perfect thing to say like 10 minutes after you actually need it. When the moment's passed and you're headed back down the staircase. You have such a pretty face if you just lost 30 pounds. Oh my God. I was just about to say the exact same thing to you. That's so weird. Do you get that a lot? <laughs> no, that was rude. You just said the same thing to me. The secret to turning staircase wit into regular old everyday wit is practice. There's only so many things that people are gonna yell at you. Just cook up a few things to yell back. Fat ass. Fight me! See? It's easy. Oh my god. Look at that gut. She should not be wearing that. <laughs> You might want to keep your voices down. Everyone's going to find out what an asshole you are. <laughs> She's such a pig. Are you not feeling very good about yourself today? I think we fat people need to start sticking up for ourselves. Bullies get bigger and meaner when we stay silent. Somebody's got to say it's not OK. You pregnant? Nope, just fat. You pregnant? No. Are you? You pregnant? No, but the night is young. Baby inside your tummy. <laughs> no, no, I'm just fat. People come in all different shapes and sizes. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. The best is when it comes from your family. <sighs> Have you considered a lap band? A lap dance? That doesn't sound very hygienic. Joy, don't be stupid. I'm talking about surgery. You mean the elective surgery that 88% of patients have complications from? The one where 40% of the people who actually survive the surgery gain back 50% of the weight they've lost within five years. The one that costs between $15,000 and $26,000, not counting therapists or nutritionists, you know, dietitians. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because I care about you and I'm worried about you. If you're so worried about my health, how about paying for my gym membership? <laughs> mm hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fat hate is one of the only forms of prejudice where the people who are subjected to it feel that they're getting exactly what they deserve. You deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. You deserve to be happy. When you hear someone making fun of fat people, don't think that they don't mean you. But they're not talking about me. They're talking about the really fat people. No, they mean you. But this isn't me. I was so thin when I was 13. There's a thin girl inside of me buried under all of this flab. When you were 13 years old, you thought you were impossibly fat, remember? Your arms were too big, your stomach was disgusting. We won't even talk about your thighs. And today, you look at pictures of that 13-year-old self and you're shocked at how cute you were. You were so cute! Why didn't anyone tell you how cute you were? Guess 
what? <laughs> 10 years from now, we'll be looking at today, photographs taken of this afternoon of us here now, and we'll be shocked at how cute we were. We were so cute. Why didn't anyone tell us how cute we were? We should have been in hot pants eight days a week. Why wasn't I wearing a tank top? So, the mission? To live today like you'll wish you would have 10 years from now. Because in the future, we'll look at the past and wonder what the hell our problem was. We get one life. This is it. Live it up.